Hey folks, welcome back to this Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4. This is the formerly Timurid vs. Poland campaign, but now the Moogle vs. Poland campaign, and I am Perry. And I am Cab. And we continue on with the Game of Thrones inspired for Honor and Glory playing in the background. Okay. It's it's a very it's a very Game of Thrones piece of music. Whether intentional or not, I do not know. <sighs> so Ethiopia, how about not having so much war enthusiasm about this? Uh. No, they're just patrolling. You're marching on. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Come on. Oh, a leader left us. No. Oh, no. Guess we'll have to get another. Uh, guess we'll have to recruit another. We can remember the interface. There we go. It's in time for one of my leaders to leave me. Yeah, come on, fall down it. It's been at 56% now for like four times. Uh. Okay, that's it, let's start. Start us building a spy network. Six percent take zillion. Oh my goodness, it actually fell. Fantastic. What madness is this? Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. So now I'm marching in with all my armies just to see if I can make Ethiopia uh, slightly less enthusia enthusi enthusiastic. <laughs> uh, words. Easy for you to say. <laughs> Apparently not. Another plus one stability. Oh, good. My goodness. The game is feeling incredibly generous. Beware a generous game. Because just masking a tabby crying for attention. So, Ethiopia, would you take a white piece? What's racist? Oh, I can't do that. Still have to be it. Unhappy faction.
It just occurred to me, there hasn't been the, the wars of religion yet in the Empire. That's Protestantism even fired? I haven't even paid attention. Well, yeah, no, Protestants are fairly widespread at this point. Yeah, yeah you need the Protestants and you need the... Uh, yeah, there are quite a few more things that have to be done before that is potentially... Yeah, Counter-Reformation and the, and the Reformed Protestants haven't, fo haven't fired yet. For Pete's sake, of course that happens now. Why now? Well then, that's done. Now I don't need the access from you anymore. Of course. Exile troops still count as troops within a territory. Boo. Oh yeah. Just annoyed by it because now I can't cancel military access because I'm marching through and kill the rebels. So, yeah, Oman, about that piece. Oh, yeah, that kind of costs diplomatic points. Uh, oops. Oops. Uh, wait, where's Woof Woof? And why could I even fight for it? Oh, right, of course. Uh, okay, then, it, then it's okay. So let's do this. Now I can cancel military access, hopefully. If I can find the down button. Uh, there we go. Bavaria doesn't exist anymore. Who? Bavaria doesn't exist anymore. Oh, that's sad to hear. Austrians decided to remove it from the face of the earth. Accept that disaster, so oh, 
fine. Let's go with you. Because we can. Oh yeah, I was supposed to increase autonomy here. Oops. <laughs> oops. It's only a small oops. And small oopses are okay. Are they now? Sure they are. Well, that was our proper care. Man, right, that's up here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Circassia got hang next. Mm-hmm. Shervan Gru or Circassia got annexed. The Golden Horde is in serious trouble. And the Turk still wants to vassalize Valachia. I'm sorry, vassalize Valachia. The Turk wants to do a lot of things. Like, well, right now he's conquering, conquering the Mamluks. Turk is just mauling the Mamluks. Sounds about right. Well, it's impressive even by the AI, by the normal Turk standard, so it's... I'm just being impressed, that's all. There's a good solid papal state. Scotland, by the way, took territory from England. Yeah, there goes the Reformation. Yep. This is probably I'm just still trying to figure out how Scotland got land off of England. Very, very un unhealthy about that. Very unhealthy. Oh, yeah, Dana's Unhe unhealthy, like. Say the Golden Horde at the moment. No, no. That's more of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, you know, whatever the word goes. No, Britain, the British Islands are unhealthy like they've got a case of the flu. The Golden Horde is un unhealthy like they have Ebola. 
Incredibly similar, except for the fact they're completely different. <laughs> but no, I went, went out there to uh, feed feed Lexi and walked by the the microwave clock, and it was six, it was after six. And I go, "Where did the time go?" Like it doesn't feel. It's like it's not that. So I walk back and he looked back down, and, it's, and now it's about five thirty. And it's like, "Oh yeah, that's right. Today was daylight saving time." Oops. Irish Smirt. S A M R T. Smarties. Mmm, tasty. I've never, never, never been amazed by them. But that's just me, I guess. Think that's just me. I'm too technolog technologically advanced to vassalize people I'm around the Horn of Africa, apparently. You can just protectorate them? Yeah, and that's not really something I'm interested in doing. Uh, crush them. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm also enjoying watching Baluchistan possibly be in a war they shouldn't have been. Come on, Vijayanagar, crush, crush Baluchistan so they can get less points. <laughs> Naval race versus Poland. Hey, don't mess with my armada. I have a total of zero ships, so I just started, take some doing. I just committed my uh, commissioned my fourteenth. Hmm, I need to make enemies out of you, too. Yeah, I'm just trying to shore up my entire border with the Ottomans before they conquer everything. <laughs> running out of time, then. Oh, yeah. Just how mighty have they become? Oh, they're, they're terrifying at this point. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're down into, New they're down into Sudan. They've swept into Libya. Looking at their force limit, 70,000 about, or 70,000 troops. A boot. And man, my, my manpower is gone. Oh my. Yeah, may I suggest avoiding a war with the Ottomans for the time being? Yeah, I have no real intention of doing that. I've, I'm tr Again, I'm just trying to shore up and try to see if I can secure bits and pieces in. Wait a second, are you... Especially considering the uh, Ottomans, I think, are still allied. Oh, you're allied. Oh, the Ottomans have an ugly alliance. Georgia, Moscow, Morocco, and Tunis. That is one of the s ugliest alliances I've seen the game put together. Yeah, well, you, you, can, you can be, you'll, you'll be on the receiving end of that alliance, I fear. Why do you keep saying that with such joy in your voice? <laughs> we are fighting hard AI, so they are kind of, yeah, a bit stronger than we used to. Yeah. Who are you at what was with Sari? What? Oh, okay. Uh, 
Uh, what about advices? Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. 50 prestige or 50 admin power. That's actually a bit of a tough choice. Um, yeah, I'll go with the admin power. Come on, Tabriz, fall. Actually, you would probably become too economically powerful. Ugh. Darn it. Have fun, Austria. What they do now? They de declared war on Switzerland with the intent to conquer. And you didn't join, or wasn't called? Didn't they? I am perfectly happy letting him go off and play on his own. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Either of those. Well, whoa, okay. That's an unusual piece. That's actually a very scary piece. That's a very scary piece. A protector, it can't be annexed though, so. So there's that. Yeah. So when are they gonna fight? When are the Turks gonna fight Hungary? No idea. I'm just looking at all of my different potential errors and seeing how error prone they all are. Ooh, I'd love the Hessian to get in there. These stats are so bad it would actually trigger a lot of the uh, events that force their conversion away from the elective monarchy. Oh, you've been reading up on the chain, I, su I, su I assume. Stuff's partially out of date, but so I don't know exactly how reliable it is. But yeah, and it's still early timeline-wise for the uh, the core stuff to fire. I haven't gone and actually read the events. Probably should have. But I have not.
Und was ist mein Force Limit up to? 46. I hate pausing at the last day of a month. <laughs> okay. I'll take a short break then and we'll resume soon. Alright folks, see you later.